Amani, 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 Amani. Angelina is sleeping, so we'll keep our voice down. But Aman, you said for your cat too, which is your second test. And some of the guys who haven't watched your cat, they should go right now and watch your first video about cat one. But anyways, you sat for cat two last night and you started solving questions. Yeah. Tell us what happened, your mindset, when you started solving the question, when you, when you first hit start, like just tell me about your mindset, your thought process, what was going on with you. Yeah. This time, because I knew that it's similar to the real uh, test and it will give me the questions according to my performance, so I was more anxious. Like the previous time, at the beginning, I was thinking that I have to solve 265 questions, but I knew it's, it's according to your performance, so I was anxious, I was scared, and when I'm not getting the set of questions, I was thinking that I'm not answering correctly because the first 10 questions are the most important questions in the NCLEX test right yeah so walk me through the first 10 questions the first 10 questions as usual I feel like shit I feel I don't know I feel I'm stupid I feel all this information I don't know I feel I'm not even 5% sure that I'm getting the correct answer mm -hmm. so but I was trying to keep focusing to solve every single question as if it's the only question I have and give it my best. And then when I reached like 30 or 40, I, I thought, I know, I will fail. I, I'm not getting the correct answer because you don't know. Mm -hmm. The correct answer, you are not able to see it until you finish and submit. And the reason, and the reason f for you building your anxiety was because you're not getting SATA questions, right? Yeah, because I knew if I get SATA questions, so the previous one is correct. That's why they are going higher. In yeah, level. increasing, increasing the intensity of course. Yeah, so I was very anxious. My heart rate was racing, but I was keeping in mind to focus on every single question as if this is the only question I have and they have to win it and then at around when it didn't close or when it didn't shut down at 75 questions I got more anxious were you mad I was expecting that it will not shut down at 75 questions but were you mad about yourself that you, you don't know the information. I was not mad, but I'm disappointed because how I will be mad, I'm doing my best. I'm doing everything I can. Okay. I cannot do more than what I'm doing. So I will not be mad about myself because it's not lack of information or lack of studying, mm -hmm. but I don't know. Anyway, so... So when it did not shut down at 75 questions, like when you went to 76, what did you feel? I feel I have to focus more, um, relax, forget about it closing or not, and just keep solving. And keep in mind that I have to solve the 265 questions to pass. So I was trying to, to um, convince myself to think this way and not looking about the number of the question. So Were you able to do that or that was difficult? That was difficult because it's already late. It's been like one past midnight and I'm still solving so I feel I got tired. Mm -hmm. I will suspend it and then I will continue next day. Mm -hmm. So that's what you did? I suspend it and uh, at what, I start crying. At what question did you suspend it? I think 80. 80. I think 80. And then you came, I was sleeping here in the living room, you came here and you sat on the couch and you started crying. Yeah, I was crying. I feel I have been studying for three months. Till what time, till what time you, you kept crying and you know like... Like I didn't sleep till 3 a.m. 3 a.m. Yeah, I feel it's been like two and a half months and 
I'm away from my kids, from my own life, from my from my newborn and I'm not living and then what I'm doing, for what? At the end I will fail, I feel very disappointed. So were you, were you afraid that you're gonna disappoint yourself and disappoint me, disappoint all the people who've been watching you, all the people who know about your Anklex journey? Does that put more burden on you? Yeah, the, the more uh, I'm scared about disappointing myself because you know the, the other people they will not get disappointed because because uh, they will feel sorry for me but yeah everyone will support you of course yeah, everyone will support you if you fail I'm scared from the disappointment it will from the disappointment on myself yeah because you invested a lot you invested yeah. 10 weeks you invested money you invested time yeah. you sacrificed time with your family the only thing i care about mm -hmm. is the the that i'm away from my kids and your husband <laughs> and your husband i'm not away from you and your husband okay okay the kids need me most and I'm not always with them so it's uh, frustrating to feel that all what you do is bullshit and I feel I'm sure I will fail I'm sure I'm seeing big fail in my face okay so you slept you woke up in the morning uh i drove actually the... i didn't sleep okay you didn't sleep uh we woke up we woke up in the morning i drove the kids to the arabic school and then i came back and what did you say to me then i i told you i will fail i told you i will fail i'm um... Why, why I'm doing this to myself? Why? Why I start studying from the first, from the first time? Why? Why I'm sacrificing and at the end I will fail? Why? Because I am. I'm, I don't feel it's fair. Questions. It's not fair. So what you? What did you tell me about the baseline? Like you're dropping below the line. What? What do you tell me? Like you're not sure of any of the questions. What did yeah. you tell me? I felt that I'm dropping below the line. And then if I'm dropping below the line and the next question I feel I'm dropping more and then this is what I'm feeling but I cannot see and then I feel if I'm keeping dropping 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 how many questions do I have to get correctly to get high 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 and start getting above the line so so that was your concern like that's what, what was my concern because if I'm fluctuating below the line, below the line I will be failing and that's what you really thought. You thought that you are below the line and you're fluctuating above and, the line. And you're fluctuating below the line and you you felt that it's so hard for you now to get above the line because Yeah. That's your thought process. Yeah. And it's wrong. You don't have to think about the graph or you don't have to to draw a graph in your mind. You you have to forget about the graph. You have to forget about the past or fail. Listen, 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 listen. But in the morning, you were still stressed about it. Like, this analysis is after you passed it. Yeah. Right? But before, before, so, so let's show the graph. Because I'm training myself. Let, let's show the graph. So this is the graph from the second cat test. So basically, you started... Uh, a wrong answer, then you went above the line, then here you dropped below the line, and then you continuously were above the line and your your cat test shut off at 92 questions right yeah before i saw that what did i tell you in the morning because because you suspended the the test at 80 last night right and then you came in the morning you were so upset you were talking about it and then what did i tell you i told you that you don't know that you're below the line most probably you're above the line from the beginning but you're stressing about it i told you when you go to the to the real and test you're gonna feel the same way you're gonna answer questions 
you're gonna feel that the information are new to you and you don't know what the heck you're doing and you're gonna think that you are below the line but that's the evidence right I told you when you do the analysis and we draw, we draw the graph you're gonna see that you're above the line right am I an anklex god or not <laughs> am I an anklex god or not yeah I told you this is the feeling that everyone would have. It's a bad feeling. Listen, I know it's bad, but you have to acknowledge it. You have to know that this is normal. And what I said, listen, what I said is you solving questions in the past 10 weeks, the only reason you're solving questions is because to train yourself for the, for the mentality of how to answer questions, for the strategies of how to approach questions, right? It's not about you know, the questions you're solving right now, you're not gonna see them on the NCLEX test. There's three million questions in that NCLEX bank. You only solved like 3,000. There's a low probability that you will see those questions again in the real NCLEX test. How do you feel about your graph? It's okay. You're not happy about the graph? Not really. I don't want you to have false expectation, Amani. I don't want you to go to the NCLEX exam and say, I'm going to pass at 75 questions. I want you to be ready to solve 90. I want you to be ready to solve 120. I freaking want you to be ready to solve 265 questions. I was happy that today it didn't shut off at 75 because that will teach you a lesson. That will teach you that in the real NCLEX test, it might not shut off at 75. And if it doesn't, that's okay. That's okay. You didn't lose your chance. You're still gonna pass your your, your exam. I passed it at 265 questions, Amani. I'm a living example is that you can do it at 265 questions. So I don't want you to worry about the 75 questions. I want you to keep focusing on every single question, right? What? I'm tired. My concern is not I'm obsessed. I want to get 75 questions to show off I got 75 questions. No, because I got tired from sitting and reading and then I will lose concentration because you get tired by reading question, question. I have been solving questions for 10 weeks. So I got tired of solving more than 75 questions. I feel my, my best I give and first 75 questions after that I feel tired so this is my concern not because I want to show off I got 75 questions and I passed it doesn't matter no patient will ask you how many questions did you solve to pass the anklex I realized that I have one two three four questions that I solve it right and then I change my mind and this is my weakness. I know that I don't trust my gut answer. A so, lot. so you only change your mind three times. That's it. Four times. So, four times. So you only change your mind four times. Yeah. Four, four times. times. But it matters four times. I know, but I mean, so you never had the wrong answer initially, and then you change into right answer. Wrong, and I changed it. Yeah, I have. So, so see. So you got answer was a wrong answer first, but then you changed it to a right answer. So, I mean, it's not, it's not about like got answers. Wrong, and then I get it right. Ah, uh, this one, one, this one, yeah. Two. Three, Ottawa three. So initially you had four wrong answers. You switched them to right answers and the other way around. Ottawa. So it's even. I think five, five. Yeah. Five. So it's not, it's not about your gut answer. It's about like, like rationalizing you know like sometimes if you don't have a real reason to change your mind mm -hmm. don't change your don't mind. don't change your mind that's true a strong um a strong answer that beats the the previous answer that you choose don't change your answer i don't know i still have one more card i will do it on monday Let's see, let's see your, your, uh, your performance, okay, let this focus a little bit. So you got, you got overall in green, and the last time everything was yellow, 
now we improved in this section, which is the pharmacology, right? Yeah. Do you recommend that people buy those CAT yeah. exams? Yeah, yeah, of course. It's very good. It's, uh, it's um, very important to train yourself to, to train yourself to deal with your anxiety and to live uh, an experience that's similar to the real test 100% um, by your performance, by the questions. Um, uh, it's just, it's just a train, train you for the real test and train you to, to, to deal with the anxiety during the test. Because some people, they don't, they don't fail because they don't know knowledge. They fail because they don't know how to manage the anxiety. So if you train yourself earlier how to um, manage your anxiety, this is the key point to pass the anxiety. Okay, so what I want to say to all of you guys, if you're still watching, when you are in the NCLEX test and you're solving questions, basically you have the first question, second question, third question, when you get the first question, it's like you're standing in a boxing ring. And that's what I told the Manny. You are standing in a boxing ring. All you care about is that other fighter that you're gonna fight. So if you're fighting that other fighter, all you're thinking about is that fighter, you want to beat his ass. You're not thinking about your wife, your sur her surgery like in, in, in a month or so, your kid's school, your financial whatever. You're only thinking about that fighter and you want to beat his ass. Same thing when you're in the question. I want you to visualize yourself in a ring with that question. Just start reading the question, find the keywords. Like lymphoma, okay, that's a keyword. Hypotension, that's a keyword. Just focus on them. Read the answers, four answers. If you excluded A, don't come back to it again. If you excluded B, don't come back to it again. You still have C and D, just pick up your best answer and click next. When you hit next, we're done with that fighter. There's a new fighter and I'm gonna face him. You read the question, look for the keywords, eliminate, choose your best answer. This is how you should tackle every single NCLEX question one question at a time. Don't think about the ones that you already solved. Don't think about the ones that's gonna come. Just think about the fighter in front of you and how you're gonna beat his ass. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Love you all. If you have any clicks questions, please put them down below. If you have any comment or advice for Amani, please put it down in the comment section. If you think that a friend of yours might benefit from this channel or from our Anklix videos, please share our content because your word of mouth is our oxygen.